So good afternoon, guys. My name is Giselle Hoffman. I'm a lifestyle chef. And yet again, on a Thursday, it is time for Join the Evolution with Yavi Avocados. Now, the question today is, do you think an ever just an avocado? And um, if there is a difference, what is that difference and how can we differentiate? Now, this afternoon, I'm talking to Donovan Lewis from Yavi Avocado all the way from Zanin. Welcome, Donovan. Thank you, Giselle. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be talking to you. I mean, with lockdown, you know, for me, it's always just so exciting to see new people, new faces, new themes and topics and things to talk about. So, yes, of course, every Thursday, we then have this avocado theme that we're talking about. And I'm so keen to have a chat with you this afternoon because I keep saying to people that an avocado is not just an avocado, and the brand lately um, in the media and what I've been promoting, of course, we are the avocado. Now, what's been happening, a lot of people are asking, but what makes the RV avocado different to other brands? So maybe we can start there because uh, I did have shopping, obviously, been all over Johannesburg because I am broadcasting from Johannesburg, and I came across these three avocados. So can you perhaps, as an avocado expert, maybe explain to us, or to me and to viewers, of course, what is the difference? Thank you, Izel. Um, yes, well, the three you have there, um, we have the Fierte, a uh, Has, and then uh, the Vihavi Avo. Um, okay. If we can start while well, we're looking at them just on the color, um, Fierte yes. is a green skin, green smooth skin avocado, which makes yeah. it more pro to bruising and um but it, it's also a south african favorite yeah. on the second we have the hat the normal has it's got a thicker skin which makes it easier it's to scoop out skin, right? even though it's a lot darker but it is st still relatively smooth right well not normally maybe that one is just a bit riper than 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 usual but it's it's it is it is smoother than the harvey yes the okay. obvious got a, a pebblier skin um, yes. which makes it less prone to bruising. Um, Hass is also less prone to bruising than, than Fierty, but both of them are um, beautiful um, scoopers. Um, another difference we'll see just when we cut them open as well, but that is on, on the skin and the color, yes. yes. So now, because you are the avocado expert, I'm going to ask you, how would you like to sort of go through them? Should we cut up or cut open one at a time? Or would you like to talk about one of these at a time to maybe explain to people the difference between the three? Or do you think we should just go ahead and cut all three open and then it's easier to compare? It's your choice. Well, I think, I think I'll, I, I also have my little array of fruits this side. So I've got well, show me yours and I'll show you mine. Look at that. So <laughs> there we go, there we go. I might Maybe be you have a avocado farm, Donovan, but at least um, I always have more than enough stock. So, um, yes, already, again, with regards to the color, this was sort of the first one we spoke about with the smooth green yes. color. If you yes. can see and then uh, over to the next one, this has all got like a reddish, darker skin. So this was the hat. That's great. Yes. And then uh, last but not least, and of course, our ultimate favorite, the VRV avocado. It's got sort of, from a skin texture point of view, I would say it's the more, most pebbly. So that's sort of the easier to, with the eye, you know, off the shelf, off the cuff, just like that. If you're looking for the VRV, um, of course, the darkest one with the most pebbly skin is most probably the creamiest on the inside, of course. There we go. I think if, if we can, if we can just eat off with the Fiatti, um, yeah. as, as we mentioned, green skin, the thinner skin, but if you cut it open. Such a farmer, and you're cutting the avocado like you're cutting biltong there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we. Like way because I do have a cutting board here in front of me, and I'm trying to sort of promote the healthy chef point of view. So yes, I'm just cutting mine to be open as well. And then all the hardy dogs are saying hello there as well, all the way from here, of course. Hardy da. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Not. As you can see on the inside here, uh, I've yes. just cut open the um, mm -hmm. Quite, uh, quite um, prominent is is the size of the of the seed, the pit. Yes. The pip, sorry, it's got yes. a bigger a bigger pip. Oh, they're yours as well. Not so much flesh, right? 
not so much food, not so much flesh. Yes, so it's got a bigger pip. And then you'll see prominent as well is that you, you'll get some fibers. This is just textural fibers, the nutritional fibers that we that that we refer to um, as fiber. But okay. um, So just to recap, the first thing is it's got a bigger pip, which means it's got less fruit. And then, of course, yes. it's quite stringy and fibery, and that's not the nutritional fiber I forever go on about, which is so healthy for the gut. Yes. And then, yeah, of course, the, 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 the thinner skin. And then just one thing to also um, to also mention on a fiesta, it's it's a bit more expensive um, to farm because it's got more um, spraying regimes, which also okay. makes it less um, environmentally friendly. Okay, let's pop over to the has. Okay, so that was the darker one with more the reddish brown darker skin for those of you just to keep notes and making notes maybe at home to make sure you are getting educated on your avocados this late afternoon while while i pick up while i pick up there it's just one one other thing that you, that we can mention to, to the viewers on yeah. on um if avo is ripe is you'll get there's a little um hmm, better still Stingle, yeah. there we go. Actually, Afrikaans, my British is failing me a little bit. Um, but you'll see when it's green on the inside, then you know there won't be any um, problems on the inside. Where if it goes um, grayish or other uh, a different color, then you'll have internal problems. Okay, so here is my number two. This is the house, of course. Ooh, look at yes, that. that is your... There we go. Right? Yes. Yes, mine is mine is a little bit more yellow, but it's also got a bigger, bigger, um, bigger, bigger seed. Um, mm -hmm. It is a oh, I forgot my spoon, but that's no problem. Um, you'll also um, on the on the we'll we'll move over to the taste test just when we're done with all the cutting, but yeah. you'll see it's got the as you mentioned the reddish black skin, yeah. um, where um, it's got more a deep purple black skin, and then it's also. Um, Got got a got a bigger seed. Um, now, one thing before Donovan. Yes, just it's also very to the VRB, right? Um, one thing I've picked up is I almost find the flesh a little bit more watery. Now, you did on a previous occasion mention to me that avocados tend to be a little bit more watery in the beginning of the season, and they tend to become a little bit more buttery towards the end of the season. So, would that apply for yes. both? Please? Um, on that, yeah, we, I, I wanted to touch on that when we go to tasting. But on that, on the Fiete at the moment, they are they are beautiful and they taste well. But normally, um, they don't taste that well because they want a little bit more watery because they are very, um, get, get um, they early variety. But they are a South African favorite, whereas Hass is, um, um, where Hass is more uh, watery at the moment. But... Um, that also, that also turns very um, um, uh, battery um, at the end where the oil content is is too high. Sorry for that. Yeah, so um, you are more than happy to also go over to Afrikaans. I mean, I'm sure we also have a lot of uh, very like traditional religious Afrikaans people out there that, of course, love avocado so much. So if you can't get the English word, we're happy to throw the doll in there for a word or two. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Um, yeah, and then just um, it's also it's also uh, it's a little bit less environmentally friendly than VRV because it's got one one um, more chemical spray than VRV Avos. So I think let's pop over to VRV. Yes, the cream of the crop avocado, um, the one that I love making avocado cream with, of course. <laughs> And uh, it's not because I'm, I'm good with the whisk. It's purely because this flesh of this avocado is so fantastic. And then look at that. I think I literally won the lotto because look at all these little peppers. I so really want to just bring it close to the camera. There you can see. Look how much flesh there is with the little pip. So that is one of the first things, apart from the color of the skin and sort of the pebbly sort of texture, that you know you are lucky because you found a lovely avocado. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, as you mentioned, smaller seed, more flesh, more food. So directly more value for money as well. And as you mentioned, cream of the crop. Um, literally, this is what it is. The RV is hand-selected 
and it's been through a certified process which le- gets it land landed on the Woolwich shelves as the RV um, um, and yeah. so it's 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 really the cream of the crop. It's also the only truly South African avo in the world that's been um, yeah found in in Venda and developed here in Zanin. Um, but that you and Zanda touched on the heritage last time. So yeah, let's not go into that. Just to repeat for viewers out there, this is exclusive to Woolworths. And one thing that, you know, it's it's so quick to sort of pick up with the eye, apart from the fact that it's got a smaller pip, is how creamy this texture is. I can absolutely see no stringy fibers, which is already a big plus, especially if you're going to make use of this in a recipe where it sort of needs to replace the creamy side of life. And that means non dairy and then replace it with a creamy avocado, which makes majority of recipes then more vegan and vegetarian, of course. Yes, no, definitely. And um, yeah, that's, as you mentioned as well, um, for myself, I, I prefer using using the RV in any in any recipe, and yeah. for more um, any dessert recipes because it just it just adds that much more creamy, much more cons- better consistency to to a dessert recipe. Um, yeah. I've made a few cakes and ice creams and chocolate mousses and milkshakes and everything with different array of avos, and the RV always comes up on top. So yeah, that's definitely. Judy just commented it is the lackest the avos, which means it is the most tastiest avos. But before we actually go to the taste test, to sort of be comparing the different brands, one thing we do need to talk about is because uh, last week Thursday we did the VRV challenge where I cooked with one avo. You know, I made use of one avo throughout the whole day. And the reason or sort of the lesson we're trying to get across there is that the shelf life of the VRV avocado is so much better. And you also don't have to add unnecessary lemon juice, even though we all love lemon juice, anti-inflammatory, immune boosting, high in vitamin C, but it's not necessary in order to sort of keep this avocado in perfect condition because, yes, that is one of the, the key features of VRV avocados, of course, as well. Yes, that's correct. It's not necessary for Viavi, but for most others it is. And so uh, yeah, you get much creamy uh, taste on the Viavi than than lemony taste. Yes, of course, we are still in lockdown, hopefully moving into the next level soon. But, you know, try and stay away from the shops and only go to the shops still for essentials. The RV is sort of our ultimate favorite to buy at the moment because it's got that extra shelf life, of course, up to 10 working days or 10 days extra to the home consumer, of course. And then, uh, Donovan, just tell us a little bit about how can you more regulate, um, you know, so you buy the avocados, you place them in the fridge, right? Because then they're sort of going to uh, last longer. Now, every day when you then want to consume an avocado, you can sort of just take it from the fridge and sort of put it in the fruit bowl because then you know it's sort of perfect for consumption. Yeah, that's 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 true. You buy green avocados, which um, the RV is a ripe and ready on the shelf in Woolworths. So those avos, when you buy them, they are ripe, they're ready to eat. They need to be um, stored in your home fridge and yeah. consumed or uh, taken out the fridge when you want to consume them. Um, yeah. Then, of course, it's back in the fridge if you don't use the whole avocado. Um, yeah. that, the statement I made would be definitely more um, accurate for if you have green avocados or um, unripe avocados and put them um, in your fridge to delay the ripening process. But for VRV, they're all ripe and ready and there to serve you every day you need them. It's just currently with lockdown, you know, people keep asking me, you know, you know, you buy, um, buy and make use of all these fresh ingredients, but yes, we can't be going to the shop every day. So that's where I just wanted to make sure yes. that everyone understands that this is also applicable to VRV, of course. But because we are chasing a little bit of sunset here, both on my side and yourself, let's go over to the taste test because I'm dying to sort of hear and compare, of course, the different tastes with regards to these beautiful fruits in front of me. So where are we starting, Donovan? Give me a clue. Fear, <laughs> fear. go in the same order. Yes. Okay. Now I didn't even add any salt or anything to this, of course, because um, you really want to. You can't do a taste test and add salt, Izel. But that's what I say. Usually, in majority of my cooking, Izel. <laughs> Adds to enhance flavor, but for this case, first, I actually left the salty inside. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so, um, so what did you tell 
really the, the, the South African favorite, you say, the most used one currently. And uh, I can completely understand why. It is a very tasty avocado. I mean, all avocados are tasty, really. But um, yeah. yes, we need to differentiate from a taste profile why the RV is, of course, the most creaminess. And while you mentioned taste profile, um, Matt Carter from Tab or, and Tribeca Coffee has, is going to um, compile a taste profile for us on VRV, and that's the world first in avocado. So that is fantastic. Um, well, I know you know. You are the first a bit, I don't you. Know from that we, mean and Limpopa, of course, these farmers do clearly not sleep at night, <laughs> forever trying new things and trying to be the first out there for breaking boundaries. Now, if we're going to go over to our next one, Donovan, what can we expect here? Well, the next one is is has it's also it's also yeah. the dark skin. So mm -hmm. we can taste that one. It's a bit more watery than yeah. what the Fiorti was. Yeah. The but that is just uh, um where we are in the season with the with the has um Fiorti is on the it good in the season already at the end. Sorry, <laughs> I'm full of avocado. At least, of course, a very creamy. VRV avocado. Now, like I said, I've been experimenting with these babies in the kitchen quite a lot lately. And uh, I'm, I'm quite daring to say that I really feel that you can almost replace any cream or dairy product in a recipe with this fantastic, fantastic avocado. Mm. Yeah. No. I well, I, <laughs> I might be biased, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, don't know if I was just unlucky for my side, but sort of, I had quite a lot of fibers in 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 my hairs in my second one. I don't know if it. I was just a little bit unlucky on my side. I think you might have been just a little bit unlucky. I had a little bit of stringy fibers in my fiorti, but um, also not too much. But y'all, this is just cream, creamy, smooth goodness. Um, it's amazing. I find it quite interesting that uh, for, we were talking about three brands here, and you sort of had stringy fibers in the one, and I sort of found stringy fibers in the other one. And we both were exceptionally happy with our VRV texture, of course, which means it really yeah. is, like you say, the cream of the crop. It's been hand picked, hand selected. It's born and bred here in South Africa, proudly South African heritage, of course. And one more reason for us to be supporting such a fantastic brand now before i let you go donovan and before you're going to keep stuffing that fantastic face of yours with avocado is there sort of any <laughs> last sort of uh sort of differentiating factors that you would like to just pinpoint down for us so we can be sure that we clearly now know the difference between the three current brands of avocados that we can find on the shelf well between these three um Definitely, uh, the biggest factor would be the skin at the moment. Uh, Fiorti has got a green skin, um, smooth skin, and it's got a thin skin. Has yes. has got a, a thicker skin, um, a little less pebbly than than Viharvi, um, but is also a thicker skin, which makes less prone to bruising. Viharvi darker, but more dark, right? You remember yes, you said yes, and has has being more reddish dark, where Viharvi is perfectly purple, deep. And it's got constant coloring as a uh, perfect discoloring as well. It 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 colors um beautifully where it has prone to um have a little bit of blotches or patches. Um yes, and then of course big the big other factor would be the small seed. We obviously got the smallest seed um up to uh, eleven to thirteen percent less than other avocados, so you get a lot more avo for your money. Um where both both has and Fiatia has got bigger seeds. And then, um, of course, it's the only proudly South African ever in the world. That is, that is just um, yeah, so show local, show South Africa. I've got hottie dogs saying bye to you now. I think they're all going to bed because <laughs> uh, the sun is <laughs> sort of leaving us slowly but surely on my side. But Donovan, so just to recap, we've got three bands of avocados. First of all, yes, for those of you at home. Uh, when you are buying them or taking them off the shelves, of course, the skin color is going to give you the first indication of what brand of avocado you're going to be purchasing. Then second of all... As well um, as the VRV, sorry, the VRV um, in Woolworth has got the little that's background the flashes, which says VRV exclusive keywords. 
Yes, I was actually going to get to that. So if you're uncertain with regards to between the Haas and the VRV, Woolies has made your life a little bit easier by placing a fantastic VRV exclusive to Woolies sticker. It's a big uh, sort of roundish black sticker that will sort of identify the VRV avocados on the shelf for you. So be on the lookout for those because uh, if you happen to purchase those, it means more flesh, smaller pip, less fibers, and all and more creaminess. So from my side, my name is Isabel. I'm a lifestyle chef. I have been chatting to Donovan Lewis all the way from the Neem. Uh, of course, he is involved with marketing as well as making sure that we are getting those fantastic avocados on the shelves. Donovan, any final words before you say goodbye? No, I just want to thank you, Isabel, as well, for being our ambassador and for the good work you do. And yes, everybody, enjoy your VRV Avos exclusive to words and Please feel free to comment um, anything, any flavor cues you find different on any avocados, so we can we can we can build this all together. Thank you. And then uh, before I let you go, we have a campaign that we are currently running on Instagram. Uh, for those of you that are purchasing your VRV avocados, please do share. And Donovan, what is the hashtag for us? You know, to sort of be resharing these um, followers, you know, their posts and what they've been doing with these fantastic avocados. Yes, so definitely um, use the hashtag VRV underscore Avo, hashtag join the revolution, hashtag VRV Thursdays on Thursday, and then we've got the um, photography flat lay challenge as well. So hashtag VRV flat lay. But yeah, VRV underscore Avo and we'll find you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But there you go. There you have it, guys. So my name is Isal Hoffman. Please give Yavi Avocado a follow on Facebook. They have a Facebook page available that is tagged in this post that I made just before this video. Also on Instagram, you can find it on Yavi Avo. Give them a follow, start tagging them, and you just might be lucky by winning a prize or maybe something more exciting. So be on the lookout for next week's Thursday. We are going to be doing another VRV Thursday because you need to join the Avolution. From my side, until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Join the Avolution.